round. Wrexham 2, Solihull Moors 1. Wrexham, uh, once again, I think we're like something like 5 and beaten now. A 2-1 victory over non form Solihull team. They've recently beat Yeovil 5-1. So we weren't expecting an, uh, an easy game today. And it certainly wasn't the second half. First half, I thought we were we were all over them. Um, a couple of good chances and we managed to get two penalties as well the first one being Hull Johnson he skipped past his man uh, the first challenge should have been a foul but the second challenge clear as day the Solihull player was protesting but it was a clear penalty Luke Young slotting it down the middle past Ryan Boot the second one of which um, Angus it was a lovely ball I think it was some Young again uh, Young played through Angus, he tried to come round him and Nathan Cameron brought him down. I think Angus would have scored, but again, another penalty, he got a booking for it. Uh, oh, Young, it was a very um, very weak penalty. Boot couldn't hold on to it, went the right way, got a strong glove to it, but couldn't hold it. Um, so that made it 2-0, went into the half-time, 2-0 up. Second half, I think we were expecting maybe for it to be solid hole, maybe try and get a goal and then... We just uh, continue to go for it because they were there for the taking. Even though we didn't score two open play goals, I think they will, if we'd have played how we did in the first half, the second half would have been a lot easier if we'd have just continued to go for it. But it was the complete opposite. They had a couple of good chances. Uh, their sh shooting wasn't the best apart from Storer. I thought he had a very good game, the former Wrexham man. Hit a shot at one point, it swerved very nicely, lane him with a good save. But uh, the penalty as well, Davis gave away a handball. It was from a corner, he jumps up and like that. I don't know what he's doing with his arm in the air, to be honest. He could have got a booking through, which meant he would have missed one game. But the referee was lenient, didn't give anything, which was lucky. And then Rooney sent lanes in the wrong way. And then it was just all one-way traffic. Solihull just going for it, going for it. We were sitting back. Every time Lainson got the ball, he was just ha hammering it upfield uh, very pointlessly. Um, I think it actually had an impact when we had Ponticelli and Omateo on up front. Two players that I don't think suit each other well because they're both sort of hold-up players and target men in a way. But uh, I thought if we'd have kept Angus on, it'd been, it would have been a lot better. But once they slotted the penalty away, uh, we just we just continued to sit back. A lot of defending to do. I thought Pearson and Callum at the back had a very good game. Don't forget for Sal as well. He had a, all of our back five I thought had a good game, especially debutant Cameron Green. Obviously, he hasn't played in months and months, but came into the team, looked very, just looked relaxed, looked in place, um, and just had a very good game. He looks very attacking. Did a couple of skills which got there, the solid old players. But overall, I thought it was a it was a decent game. Solid three points takes us up to sixth, and as well, I'd have probably given my man of the match to either Young or Harris. I thought those two midfield had a very good game. Harris looked up for it, crunching challenges, couple of wild shots, but nonetheless, I thought Harris and Young. Not just because Young scored the two penalties, he's just everywhere. They're both everywhere, and I can see there being some interest for. Uh, Luke Young in the summer from higher clubs, so I think we should do what whatever we can to try and keep hold of him. Because if I'm being honest, we won't be able to get a player like his talent and with his ability from this level. And I think just once again, those two very well done up front. We look decent at the back. Lainton, couple of good saves, couple of nerve wracking uh, nerve wracking moments at times, but. It is what it is. We got the job done. We're up back into the playoffs and a very solid performance at Wrexham. I've got to give it to Solly as well. Um, you came out in the second half very uh, positive minded. You, It was almost like some teams that have faced us this season have said, oh, we're losing 2 0 at half time. We can only just sit back and not let this concede again. But no, they went out for it. They got their penalty deserved. They got the goal which was deserved. And they could have easily got an equaliser at the end, uh, bar some wild shots. But once again, a great performance from Wrexham. I can't complain. Got the lucky shot. On. I think we've got two wins out of two with this shirt on. So um, I'm going to keep this on for the next game, which I think is next Saturday. 
I'm not sure who against, but if you did enjoy this match review, make sure to drop a like. We're finally back with the reviews. Drop a comment on your man of the match, and I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.